This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Time to get you ready to take on your Thursday in the morning sprint. Sydney Charles has details on the Fed's decision to pause interest rate hikes for now. In Spokane's the largest outdoor market is back this Saturday. Destiny Richards has what you need to know. And Mark is talking about more sunshine in the forecast today. But first, Moses Lake Police arrested a man for distributing child por pornography. 28-year-old Justin Erdman was arrested at a pre-planned traffic stop when he got off of work last Thursday morning. Detectives took 19 devices out of his home to analyze. Moses Lake Police say the arrest follows a three-month investigation by detectives. Moscow murder suspect Brian Koberger wants to challenge his indictment. A grand jury indicted him on four counts of first degree murder and a count of burglary last month after his December arrest in Pennsylvania for the murders of four University of Idaho students. The prosecution and defense have not been able to agree on what grand jury materials would be made available to Koberger's team. Koberger's lawyers claim evidence exists that would clear him of the charges based on discovery provided by the state. What they don't know is whether that exculpatory or inadmissible evidence was presented to the grand jury. Koberger is asking that his case be halted while he challenges the indictment. Some Avista customers reached out to 4 News now saying they recently received notice of an up to 40% change in their monthly bills, saying they recently received notice of uh, that change. Earlier this year, Avista said customers were notified about a 6% rate increase that will go into effect July 1st. However, a Vista customer, Josh Mill, says he recently received a letter showing his monthly payments would be increasing from $250 a month to more than $350. We did reach out to a Vista to learn more about what could be causing that rate increase. No one was available for an interview, but representatives did say big increases like this are dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. All right, well, it's going to go easy on your air conditioner and or heater as we go through the next couple of days. Uh, today's weather, we're going to warm up nicely. We're going to have sunshine. High today of 77 degrees. And as we look, yeah, we're going to have more sunshine than clouds. We're going to see a few clouds uh, coming in for later on today. High's going to be into the mid-70s and near 80 downtown, but 77 will be the high today. This week, the Federal Reserve made the decision to pause its aggressive series of interest rate hikes, ending a string of consecutive rate increases for the past 15 months. The interest rate pause for June gives the Fed a chance to see how higher borrowing rates are impacting inflation and the economy. But after the Federal Reserve wrapped its monthly meeting yesterday, Fed Chair Jerome Powell still signaling more hikes are likely in the future. Financial analysts expect the Fed will closely consider U.S. labor market and inflation trends at its next next rate hike meeting. Daybreak Youth Services CEO has filed new court documents ahead of today's contempt hearing in Thurston County. The Teen Substance Abuse Treatment Center in Spokane is facing accusations of mistreatment of patients by staff as recently as last fall. In the papers, Thomas Russell says most of the 130 member staff will be laid off by the end of the week and that the Spokane and Brush Prairie facilities plan to shut down by the end of the month. The CEO said the Department of Health set up Daybreak for failure by delivering a large amount of paper paperwork containing suspension notices and a four-day notice to transfer patients on the Friday before Memorial Day. At a school board meeting in Priest River, the West Bonner School Board to uh, announce it wanted to stick with its decision to hire Brandon Durst as superintendent, a decision not popular with many parents there. Durst is a former candidate for Idaho superintendent and was also a state representative. In a statement, school board chair Keith Rutledge said many people in the community felt it is time to change directions. You can read his full statement on KXLY.com. And this morning we have been talking all about Terrain's Bazaar. The art organization puts on a large outdoor market in downtown Spokane every summer. And it's happening this Saturday with more than 100 artists, more than 100 vendor booths, live music, food, you name it. It's happening from 11 to 8 on Saturday. Great opportunity to shop local. It's some family fun. It's coming to Manitou Park this Father's Day weekend. Snap will host its 11th annual Dad's Day Dash this Sunday at Manitou Park. The 5K run or one mile walk starts at 9 o'clock and you can register up until the morning of the race. You can find the link to register inside this story on KXLY.com. We'll check weather one more time next.